This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. This is our fourth example on arc length. Let's do this problem here. Find the radius of a circle in which the central angle, 75 degrees, intercepts an arc length of 85 yards. And then we're going to round the answer to the nearest tenth of a yard. Okay, so again, we know that the formula for arc length is r theta, but remember, theta must be given in radians. So let's see. We don't know the radius. That's what we're looking for. What about theta? Well, we've got 75 degrees. And what about s? That's 85 yards. So before we put in it in this formula, we're going to have to change this 75 degrees to radians. So how do you do that? 75 degrees. You want to multiply it by something so the degrees cancel. So I would want the 180 degrees at the bottom and pi at the top. And then we can reduce it. Let me move this over a little more space. All right, so the degrees are going to cancel, right? And then what goes into both 75 and 180? Well, 5 goes into both of those. So that would be 15. And the degrees cancel, right? So 75 divided by 5 is 15. 180 divided by 5 is 36. All right, can I do any more canceling? Well, 3 goes into both 15 and 36. By the way, if you don't cancel, it's okay. You could you could put all this in your calculator later. So if I divide the top and bottom by 3, it's 12. So anyway, I get 5 pi over 12. So the radius, I mean, so, excuse me, the angle theta is 5 pi over 12. Now, if you wanted to leave it as 75 pi over 180, like before you reduced it, 75 pi over 180. You could leave it like that because we're going to put everything in the calculator anyway for this problem. Okay, so now we're going to take this formula, s equals r theta. And we know s, so we're taking the formula. s equals r theta. And I'm, I'm trying to find out the radius, so I'm going to write this as r theta equals s. How about that? r theta equals s. That way the variable I'm looking for will be on the left-hand side. So my theta is five, tw 5 pi over 12. So I could write 5 pi over 12 for theta and then times that by r. And that's equal to my s, which is 85. Now I'm going to leave off the yards for now, but I know in the end, the radius has to be given in yards as well. So how do I solve for r? Well, we can multiply by the reciprocal, which is 12 over 5 pi. And on this side, 12 over 5 pi. And again, you could simplify or you could plug all this in the calculator as it is. I like simplifying first. That's just the way I work. So 5 goes into 85 17 times. So r is equal to, it's going to be whatever 17 times 12 is divided by pi. And then we know it's going to be in yards. So let's do that in the calculator. So we have 17 times 12 divided by pi. And that is approximately, if I round it, 64.9 yards. Now, I'm going to do the problem showing you, if you don't reduce anything, how you're going to get exactly the same answer. So let's just look back here. With the original part, we had that 
theta was 75 degrees, right? So watch how I'm going to rewrite this. All right, so we're trying to find r, and we are given the arc length is 85 yards, theta is 75. What you could do is say, well, I know I've got to multiply by pi over 180 degrees, and you could simply write 75 over 180. And then we can go ahead and put it in this formula. So again, we have r theta is equal to s, right? So r is what I'm looking for, but theta is just 70. I need more room here. 75 pi over 180, right? That's theta times r is equal to s, which is 85. And then multiply both sides by the reciprocal. 180 over 75r. Oops, a little extra zero there. 180 over 75 pi. And now you can plug all this in your calculator. No? But you got to be careful with order of operations and everything. So on my calculator, I have a, an order of operations calculator. So I just put, I'm going to do 85 times 180. Then I'm dividing by 75 pi. And I get a Oops, I have to be careful. You have to put the 75 pi in parentheses to get the right answer, or you could put 85 times 180, divide by 75, and then divide by pi. So be careful. If you leave it all like this, sometimes using your calculator gives you more trouble. It's up to you, though. But in the end, if you do it correctly, if you plug it in your calculator correctly, we're going to get, again, 64.9 yards. This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic.